Although I feel hand cannons do feel a lot more consistent since the recoil pattern changes, shot registration is pretty good, and recoil is a lot more manageable, it's no secret that hand cannon range has been hit pretty hard. Optimal damage ranges seem to have been brought back a bit, but the more important thing perhaps is that damage drop off at range seems to be very sharp and quite sensitive. There are a few hand cannons that seem to rise up and perform better at range than most though, and the better devils with a very specific role of maximum range possible with explosive rounds in rangefinder is one of those hand cannons. There is one hand cannon that's very similar to this with a very small marginally higher range stat which is Kindled Orchid, but the reason why I bring up Better Devils is because the odds of getting a very perfect exact max range Kindled Orchid with explosive rounds and rangefinder, I think you have far less chances of getting that. I think it's a lot more rare than a Better Devil, simply because Better Devils come from Crucible tokens, which is a lot easier to farm, a lot easier to collect, and I'm willing to bet that most players have a lot more Crucible tokens to spend and try and get this very specific role on the Better Devils. And of course, yes, there are 110 RPM hand cannons that do have very high range and can get rangefinder, Maybe as well explosive rounds, I haven't looked into it too much, but it's not really relevant for this comparison because we're looking at specifically the 140 or 150 RPM archetypes and trying to make a comparison because I think those are the archetypes that people are really drawn to right now. So for a quick range comparison with other hand cannons, the better devils with rangefinder, explosive rounds, and max range can 3 tap with 3 crits up until 33 meters. This of course means at 34 meters, it is no longer able to get a 3 crit kill. The best range Ostringer I have at my disposal, so an extended barrel one with rangefinder and all the other range perks, can 3 tap up to 32 meters. I do think it's possible, unfortunately I don't have the resource, but it's possible that a full bore one with rangefinder and all the range perks can 3 tap up to 33 meters. But it still maybe isn't quite as good as the better devils with explosive rounds for range and I'll explain why later. An Ostringer with max range, so full bore, all the range perks, without rangefinder though, can only 3 tap up until 30 meters. An Ace of Spades can only 3 tap as well up to 30 meters, and with Memento Mori, that becomes 32 meters. Sunshot, another hand cannon with explosive rounds, can only 3 tap up until 29 meters. Of course, it is going to have better range performance than others without explosive rounds beyond that, but it still only has a 29 meter 3 tap range. Now, there's a reason why I'd make the argument that Better Devils is still better than a very max range Ostringer with Rangefinder, and the reason being is because explosive rounds sustains damage better at range. Now, I mentioned that damage drop off on hand cannons is very sharp, it drops off quite quickly and is pretty steep overall, so explosive rounds actually helps maintain damage better at range and mitigate that quite well. Funny enough, for whatever reason, the better devils with explosive round actually hits for 71 damage in optimal range, which is just one point higher than a traditional 140. I'm not sure how impactful this actually is, but I'm sure it has something to do with damage number rounding and how it displays in game. More importantly though, explosive rounds will always maintain 24 damage on any shot, no matter how far you are away from the target. So at 30 meters, better devils of course deal 71 damage, at 35, 60 damage, at 40, 48 damage at 45 40 damage and even beyond that at 50 it just maintains 40 damage from there on out comparing that to my highest range Ostringer with extended barrel rangefinder and all the range perks it deals 70 damage at 30 meters 58 at 35 meters 44 damage at 40 meters 30 damage at 45 meters and 24 damage at 50 meters so I think it's quite clear that explosive rounds really helps you maintain a reasonable or at least better amount of damage at range. So if you're a hand cannon user and you're not satisfied with the range of your current hand cannons, perhaps it's good to turn in some crucible tokens and try and get this roll. Of course it is again very specific, it has to be this perfect roll, but I mean if you happen to get it then you might have yourself a good range contender. Another important thing to note is that the recoil isn't so bad on this weapon. I think before the patch, before the recoil changes, I would have said that this hand cannon is not viable on controller because of how inconsistent it would feel despite its good range potential. However, since the recoil changes, it actually feels pretty manageable and it's actually pretty good to use so you don't have to be too concerned with the stability stat as much as its recoil isn't too bad, it's pretty controllable, it's decently consistent and landing shots isn't too difficult. Anyways, everyone 
I hope you enjoyed the quick video. Let me know what your thoughts are on the matter. And if you'd like to see more content like this, you can check me out on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Drewskis. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.